She kind of looks like you. What? No. I'm Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, and I founded the Whitney Biennial in 1932. My, by the way, it is super radical that I'm wearing pants right now. My husband, Harry, thinks it's shocking. My idea was to make a biennial that was just American artists and just about right now, like a snapshot of this moment in time. And I gotta say, I feel super proud of myself because the Whitney Biennial has helped launch the careers of some of the greatest American artists, like Cindy Sherman, Robert Maplethorpe, John Baldessari, Miranda July. I'm not sure I even knew what the Whitney Biennial was before, did you? I mean, when you're in art school, you're taught that it's this really monumental event. Right, like this huge milestone. Yeah, but you know, I was never certain if it was really in the cards for me. Right. The whole process of being invited is super secretive. A curator comes to your studio and you can't tell anyone that that happened. And then you get a phone call saying that you're in the show, but don't tell anyone. When I got the call, I was just going in to see No Country for Old Men. And you know, my head was spinning the whole time. I mean, I, I really don't remember the movie at all. Okay, it has Javier Bardem in it. And uh -huh. he has like those short bangs and... I had to call my parents, tell them I carved pervert on my chest and that it was gonna show in the Whitney Museum of American Art. Were you so nervous? Yeah, I was really nervous. They already knew that I was a lesbian, but they had no idea that I was part of the leather community. Wanna turn this way? Okay, look right here. Chin up a little bit. The biennial has always provoked intense debate. We dig into America, looking for art that dares us to be more ourselves. Oh, God! What is that? I drilled 100,000 holes in the museum walls. There was dust everywhere, it was a huge mess. I'm pretty sure all the other artists in my room hated me. Everybody in my room, it was like a love fest. Matthew Barney was down the hall, Nicole Eisenman was across from me. We all became lifelong friends to this day. Oh, my piece hung in the elevator. I wasn't talking to anyone, I felt totally out of it. And then someone handed me this pillow. It had been made by another artist in the show, Jim Drain. It's me with a wizard beard and wizard hat. I've kept this for 15 years. I love it, you look good with a beard. <laughs> it was the first time I felt like I was part of a bigger conversation. It's a big deal. It becomes a platform that allows you to elevate what you're doing. Right, as artists, we're so used to thinking of ourselves as outsiders, but of course, everyone feels that way. And the biennial is really like a space for that feeling. It's a home. Guys, I feel like you're just saying this stuff because I'm right here. No, not no. at all. Gertrude, no way. not at all. Come on.